Alright guys, just back with a brand new YouTube video and today I have the Code of Bell X-Pod 2 also known as the CrossPod The materials used on this sling are X-Pack and Kadura which is a lightweight fabric and an abrasion resistant um, material um, X-Pack is basically a type of nylon uh, material which, is, which has multiple layers and is fused or pressed together to create this highly durable finish um, it's also 100% waterproof as well. So starting with the front of this thing, um, it does have two main compartments which are 2.3 litres and it is expandable to 7 litres which I'll show you in a minute. Um, it does come with two compression straps which you could use to tighten some bigger items down such as a yoga mat or a raincoat or umbrella. All you need to do is just uh, strap it down and just fasten it. Um, they are detachable and yeah you could you could either have it like this or you could take it off for a more cleaner aesthetic um, at the bottom you do have free attachment points as you can see and it has the code of bell logo right here and then you might be wondering what this is this is just a s um, carabiner so i like to just have that in case i need to attach anything else um, it also has this attachment loop for the stabilizing uh, strap which I'll show you in a minute as well. Moving on to the back of the straps, we have a magnetic fit lock buckle system and it's easily attached and detached just like this. It's very snappy and it's very sturdy and it won't come undone. Um, we also have a head and rear compartment here which is quite small but it's just enough for maybe a mobile phone important documentations or passport and it's good because it's right at the back and it's up against your back so this ensures a bit more safety to your valuable items when you're traveling it also comes with two zip compartments on the side of the straps so you can store bandages a small carabiner microfiber cloth all that also ykk zippers too ykk zippers here as well on to the main compartment we have three mesh lining compartments in here two are zippered and then one are open and um, in the big one you can see you can store like pens or maybe some sort of notebook in here and then in the smaller compartments you can store maybe some cables or some wipes um, they're not too big, they're a bit tight, but it should do the job. It does have the popular orange lining that's consistent throughout all of Code of Bell products. Um, the reason why it's orange is because it's easy to distinguish your items um, when you're searching through it. Also has the X-Pack logo right here and the Kadura right at the top here. So that's the main compartment and then on to the second compartment it does have the Code of Bell logo right here that says Los Angeles, California and it comes with the key strap so you can secure your keys when you're not using them and it's magnetic as well so you just attach it like this and you can store it in for uh, peace of mind so that's that and then onto the expandable storage so I have to fold this up remove the compression straps and then fold this up just like this and then unzip it right here so as you can see it's nice and big and I'll put my water bottle in here just for reference so this is a Yeti 26 ounce tumbler and it fits that exactly so just bear in mind that is just for reference that you can fit in not considering the items that you already have in here so it could be quite tight but that's just for reference so yeah that's in there and then you can fold it back up and then it is attached to the sides of the strap with a adjustable uh, strap as well which you can fasten or you can loosen or depending on how you want the comfort 
so yeah um, with the hidden feature at the back there's a sleeve where you could just uh, fold the straps into it um, let me just show you so you can fold it in like this when you're not using it just for a cleaner and nicer finish so um, I already have items in the bag at the moment um, so it might look a bit chunky but yeah obviously you could fold it a lot ne neater than me I'm just showing you as reference but yeah this is uh, what it looks like yeah obviously it makes it a lot easier to carry as well when it's folded like this but so now I'm going to provide you some examples of what I could fit in this sling and just run it through real quick so you can get an idea of what you could sort of fit on a daily basis so yeah starting with the main compartment I'm going to put a pen a notebook so this is one of the smaller ones that is easy easier to carry and for the separate compartments I'm going to put two of the Jason Mark shoe wipes or sneaker wipes as Americans would say and if you're watching this from America those are the sneaker wipes um, on the second compartment I'm going to put some glasses wipes just for air glasses sip that up and then I'm going to put hand wipes and a wallet onto the main compartment um, you can see that the folded um, flap acts as a divider in here so I'm going to put my earbuds um, lightning charging cable some tissues this is the stabilizing strap that comes with the Code of Bell X-Pod um, and I'll show you another clip or the next clip that you can see how, how it's used so put down here just in case I need it battery pack um, hand cream and let's see let's try to push it one more my phone oh and the key strap the magnetic key strap here so it's a bit of a tight one but let's push it to the limits um, size here I'm going to put a lip balm right here and then onto the back I'm going to put this is a 50 pounds note um, sterling great uh, British pounds in here and a microfiber cloth just in case um, then this is the alpaca top system so I'll put that up here so I can use that with my wallet and yeah this is the weight of it uh, this is how full it looks so yes there is still a bit more room in here uh, you can fit a bit more things but this is how it looks as of right now onto the pros and the cons of the Code of Bell X Pod 2 the pros are that it does include these compression straps I know that you could buy these separately on the website but with the X Pod 2 it does come included so I do like that um, it's good because you could of course attach anything uh, horizontally um, and free up your hands or if you just decide to have something that's quite large you could just strap it right in here so I think that's really good um, it also has multiple attachment points so I do like that as well um, it also has the hidden compartment back here so you can store your valuable items close to your body just to deter theft which is really good I do like that um, I do li I do like the expandable feature because not a lot of slings uh, have this type of feature where it can expand out so you can always have it as a low profile if you're not carrying too much things or also have the extra room when you just need it so that's really good and that's why it was one of the selling points for me um, on to the cons I think first of all the cons I would say would be these two tabs I don't know if you can see but this one's slightly longer than this so this one can ju just become undone easily uh, it's quite annoying but I think that's just a quality control issue um, another thing would be um, the lining on the inside the mesh lining so as you can see it's quite it's quite loose it doesn't even hold this notebook at all it's just sitting here very loosely so I wish there was more tension on this mesh um, so yeah that would be one of the annoying things another annoying thing is definitely the straps because these straps become undone or a reset every single time that I use this it's quite annoying sometimes it'll be like this and then you have to pull it and take it off and then tighten it again 
it doesn't hold tightly and firm uh, in the fixed position that you adjusted in the first place so that is quite annoying um, so yeah overall would I recommend it yeah I would recommend this uh, where did I get it I purchased this on the American Code of Bell website for like I said $150 -ish, ish and it was about 125 pounds so if you're in the range of $150 to $100 it's definitely worth checking out um, if you're in the UK like me uh, 100 to 150 pounds your budget is that much then this is definitely worth considering at least you know worth checking out for what you get it's good value because you get so much so much for what you're paying you know you get to include the straps and then stabilizing strap um, yeah so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments down below like what's your thoughts if you want me to review anything else um, it did take me quite a lot of tries to just try to get this one out because I'm just not good at talking at all I'm so sorry for that um, but I'm trying my best here so yeah please uh, please like comment and subscribe and I'll try to pump out more content for you guys thank you for watching thanks very much